hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is blessing thank you for clicking on this video if you're a new subscriber or you're seeing my face for the very first time welcome and if you're a returning subscriber thank you for sticking around and always watching my videos so before we proceed i just want to appeal to you to please subscribe to my channel if you're not yet subscribed like my videos leave a comment i get a lot of comments personally i get dms i get whatsapp messages but these people don't leave comments on my channel if you're watching my video please your engagement is very very important please like my videos leave a comment on the video subscribe to my channel if you're not yet subscribed the subscription button is the red subscribe button you see it just below the video and then click the bell icon that's the notification bell click it so that you get notified whenever i post a video so that i don't miss any of my upcoming videos today's video we are talking about the simple things you can do to change your life in 2022 those simple habits you need to incorporate into your day-to-day -day activities to change your life that's what we're going to be talking about today so yeah if it's something you're interested in please keep watching <music> So the first habit um, which is a no-brainer is to drink more water in 2022 what you're supposed to be drinking your total body weight divided by two that's the amount of water you're supposed to be drinking every single day drinking more water helps with clear skin you feel more refreshed i know this is like something everybody says all the time you need to but they actually do not put it into practice so this is me reminding you reminding myself as well because all these tips i'm giving are not just for my viewers but for myself i'm also saying it to myself as well have a sleep schedule and people call it schedule schedule have a sleep schedule whatever you call it here yeah. have a sleep schedule so this means going to bed at the same time every single day i've been doing this for like a year now um i have a sleep schedule so once it's a particular time all the apps on my phone so sleep mode i don't get any notification whatsoever I do. by so doing your body gets used to it over time it becomes more like a habit and then when it's that time every single day you tend to want to fall asleep i remember during nysc we are used to waking up was it 3 a.m or 4 a.m every morning so even after nysc when we got home we found out that we woke up by that same time because our body was used to the rhythm imagine, imagine waking up at the same time for 21 days your body is used to it anything repeats for three weeks 21 days you're used to it it becomes a habit so even when we got home we could not fall asleep after that time so yeah it took a while for us to get back to our rhythm recognize your coping mechanism at some point in our lives we'll be hungry we'll be frustrated things will not go the way we want it to go things may not go as planned over the years we've developed so many ways to react to these things you know as kids we could cry leave the room speak to someone or just ignore a situation or something you just have to find out the coping mechanism that works for you and stick to it make sure these coping mechanisms are positive because there are some negative coping mechanisms that will develop over time which you think they are right but they are not things are bound to happen i mean you cannot control everything in life so things may not work out your way and it may not always be a smooth ride for you so you just have to try and figure out a way to cope with it if you should go out get fresh air sing fall asleep or for an hour just rest be on your phone watch a movie whatever it is you use to deal with stress or deal with issues like that please try and recognize this in 2022 and then recognize what triggers you if something's going to trigger you try to take yourself out of that situation so another point is compare yourself to yourself so don't compare yourself with other people this year you don't know how they're doing or how they started so you cannot compare yourself with someone else so you're only going to be able to compare yourself to the person you were yesterday compare yourself to yourself look to always improve yourself improve your life don't compare yourself with other people because you really don't know what they are going through you don't know how they are going about it they look all perfect um, on social media they may um, appear to be perfect and everything is working out well for them but that is not always the case so don't compare yourself with people you could even be doing better than them 
but you wouldn't know because you keep comparing yourself with people and then they come out they have smiles on their faces they're just sulking you are miserable for some reason so another thing you need to do this year is to listen to your body take care of yourself some people fall sick they start experiencing symptoms of illness they don't listen to their body until they break down completely they can no longer do the things they used to do before they that seek medical attention that shouldn't be the case in 2022 health is wealth take care of your health if you're feeling somehow take care of yourself if you're eating and you're feeling like you're full already stop eating listen to your body if you need to go to the bathroom do that immediately stop procrastinating just listen to your body if you know something is not right something is off look into it don't just ignore mm, I'm, I'm sure i'll be fine i'm sure it's just slight headache i mean these past few years i've shown us that the cough may not just be cough so whatever it is listen to your body have a saving schedule and before i go into saving let me just talk about investment you need to know how to invest your money in 2022 2022 is not the year to have a single stream of income so try to invest wisely and before you invest please try to do do your research before you invest so that you don't get duped there are so many ways you can do your research you can find out from people you can check on the internet you can get reviews or try to always invest because the money you have in your bank that you're saving will not give you a lot of interest compared to when you are investing so think properly seek financial advice and invest your money don't just save it all because it's not going to yield any benefits if you're saving it all over the years have a savings schedule you may care to have a savings account but you don't have that discipline to maintain that savings account i'd advise you have a savings schedule putting amount 10 percent of your salary every single month as savings or 10 percent of your income as savings or whatever the case may be it could be 20 percent could be 15 percent whatever the case may be for you putting it aside as your savings and trying to, as much as possible not to touch it so that over time if you have access to money because you cannot invest your your total amount of money and then you don't have anything to fall back on so your savings is good investment is good but do it wisely I mean, just try to make sure you do not spend money anyhow in 2022 because january is long january is like 60 days it's not 31 days so yeah manage your finances very well set deadlines for yourself i like to set deadlines for myself um if i have something to do i write it down i have a to-do list by so so day i should be done with this i should have presented this or i should have done this i should have done that it keeps me organized for example i want to film a video to post next week i'll be like okay if i'm posting on friday by tuesday i should have filmed this video so that i can have wednesday thursday to edit it and then probably upload it and schedule it to go up maybe sometime on friday make sure you have a plan declutter more oh this is something i love to do nigerians like to hoard literally they will hoard every single thing it can come in handy it can be useful three years later you've not used it it's still there i mean throw it away why are you just leaving it lying around cluttering your house disorganizing the whole place please this 2022 don't hold anything you know you're not going to use unsubscribe to emails that no longer suits you the amount of mails we get from different subscriptions they just keep sending you mails every single day mails you probably will not read they are literally spamming your emails unsubscribe to them try to communicate more effectively in 2022 don't just um, listen to people so that you are able to respond or listen to them so that you can actually understand what they are trying to say don't listen for response purpose only try to understand try to put yourself in their shoes try to be more emphatic in 2022 okay and show more gratitude and be courteous this year people have their own opinions of course and everybody think okay because of social media you have the right to be rude or to come on people's comment section to say whatever it is you want to say please this is 2022 respect yourself try to be courteous try to show gratitude to people it doesn't take you anything somebody does something for you thank you excuse me i'm sorry those little things those five magic words we learned as kids should not be thrown away don't forget the five magic words please sorry excuse me pardon me thank you always use it so courtesy to people and it doesn't make you less of who you are so yeah is it for this video i 
hope you learned a thing or two from it like i said in the beginning of this video i'm not just talking to you i'm also talking to myself these are things i tend to practice more in 2022 if you keep doing these things consistently it's going to change your life for good so yeah thank you so much for watching this video if you're not yet subscribed please 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 subscribe to my channel it means a lot to me like this video leave a comment in the comment section and i'll see you in my next video bye